welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we'll create info.py file and this info.py file will take care of all the information like score total coin and time remaining so first remaining so firstly let's go to this component and just create this info.py file here so after that let me just import the module here and that would be first pygame module is busy and from this data directory we'll just import setup and now from from this again this data directory we'll import constant age c so this will be the all the module that we want in this info.py so let's create class here and this class will be character so just let me just give here as in pg sprite and sprite here and this class character class is basically the parent class for all the character used for the overhead level info so let's define here the basically our constructor and let's define here image so what you're gonna do here is we'll just call the parent from this super and just pass this character the current object that is self and just call this init of the parent here now let's assign the image that is current image as image that we pass here and let's make the rect out of this image that is from this self dot image dot get rect function so this will be our character class now it's time to make another class and that is overhead info class overhead info and just give here object now this class this overhead info class is for the level information like score and obviously the coin total and the time remaining for the game so it will contain all the method that will handle this information so we'll just define here the initialize it and we'll just put here as a game info and similarly we'll just initialize here as an state just pass here as an state and first thing what you're gonna want to do here is just get our sprite sheet here so let me just name here variable that is sprite sheet and let's load this sprite sheet from this setup module and just pass here gfx and just give inside this square bracket the name of the sprite sheet that we want to import that is text images so next thing we'll just create this coin total and this is basically the coin that we just get while playing the game so it should be game info here which is a dictionary and just pass here as in key that is coin total so next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just set the time here that would be something that is 401 so you wonder so why this 401 basically it start from 400 but the one second or one millisecond will be just the starting time so we'll just put here 401 so the current time now so let me make another variable to denote the current time will be o and we'll say that is the total lives that can be given to the user so that can be total lives equal to game info and it can be c dot top score so you just put here top score and total lives can be three here now the next thing what you can do is we'll just initialize this state to be state and now it's time to just initialize the game info that is just initialize your game info variable as in game info 
so the couple of functions that we need to include in this overhead info are to make the mario image and we'll also implement the coin counter we'll also update the game mode we'll also handle the level states and we'll also draw according to the events and we'll also create the info levels and obviously our score group so let's begin with just calling some of the bunch of functions here and the first function that we want to make is create it should be create image dict that is dictionary so this is our first function that we call in this init and let's make it here that should be with the same naming convention and just paste it here with the same signature and let me just call here with a self so this create image dict basically creates the initial image for the score so let me just define here as an image dict as in dictionary which should be empty initially and this is dictionary so next thing is we want this image list so image list is empty here now let me give a quick space here and just append all the images in this image list so that can be done like this just get this image list and append and what you're gonna do is we'll just self dot get image so we haven't implemented the get image yet and I'll just do it here so just define this get image function now so get image function is basically extracts image from the sprite sheet so let me just define here as in get image and it will just take x and y position from where the extraction should take place and the width and height it should be width and just put your height and after that that we make an image that should be extracted and that should be from this pygame module called this surface and the surface is class where it wants the height and width in a tuple that means here is a quarks it should be packed in a tuple or a list so let me make a list and just give a height and a width here so we have a now image so make the rect out of this image that is just using this get rect function to do that and now it's time to bleed that image from image dot bleed function and first will be the source here source would be self dot sprite sit and the destination is at origin that means o and o and the area or basically foundation here will be x y width and height so this is basically to denote this area and just put here height and a special flag is none here so let's create this color key and use that color key here as the color combination let me just give a color combination here is 92 148 and 252 this will be our color combination and let's transform this image because it is really small so we have to scale this image to make it larger from this pg dot transform and scaling function so firstly what you're going to scale is image and what should be the height and width of this newly scaled image so it should be first is that is just let me say rect and dot width so firstly width should be multiplied by an unit factor that is 2.9 that is basically the scaling factor here and similarly the next would be height now so get the height from here and multiply it with same factor that would be 2.9 here and since it is in float let me just convert it to the integer and just put it here and again you should convert it to the integer and we're good to go with the scaling our images so at last we'll just return this scaled image from this get image so what we're gonna do here is we have now get image function so we'll make use of this get image function in order to get the image for the score and append it in this image list 
so what this get image is going to take is x and y width and height so x would be here 3 and 230 and we have already loaded the sprite so here the basically we have now width and height so give the width as 7 and 7 so we have now get the image at this position of this height and width and append it in this image list so we have to do this multiple times at different position and with the different size that is height and width and let me do it quickly because there are a few here so let me just grab another image and that would be 8 12 3 2 30 and 7 and 7 so similarly we have a bunch of image list to create so let me just pause it the video and come back when i complete it so i have added this bunch of statement here you can take the code from the resource section and we have here different point and height and width will be exactly the same so this bunch of images is to create the initial image for the score so we have a very a big list of image here and all this image will be appended in this image list you can get this all of this point and exactly see from the sprite what we are looking for so after that we have now this image list here so what you can do next is we have to create the character string now so let's go here after this uh, appending the image list to this image list we'll just use this character string now so this character string is basically anything from 0 to 9 and obviously a to z so let me see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have 9 here and just make it uppercase and type everything that is a to z so this is our character string that is from a to z so what you're gonna do next is we'll just loop in this character so we'll just say that is for character and image in zip so what you're gonna do here is we'll just make a zip and it is basically iterable that means you can loop so in this zip we're gonna add two parameter and that is character string and image list so this zip is basically an enumerator that means it combines these two and make a compact so we can just loop in that compact to get this character and the image so we can just now create this image list as that is image dict and just give here that can be here a random character first from o and you can go to one two three four five six and with that different character is in key we assign here image so this is basically the way just which we are getting is basically in this image dict we create a key from 0 to z and it will just append this image that we have here into this dictionary so now at the last we have a dictionary full of these images and key is 0 to z so after this get image which we implemented before it's time to create another function and that is defining info labels so firstly what you're gonna do here is let me just go back here in this overhead info and let's go down here and after that we want to create another function so just call it out here and that should be create score group score group and just call it here and let me just copy this name and just go deep down here and just paste it and now we have to define this create score group so how this 
create score group should be defined is we just create a list here that is of score images and it creates the initial empty score that is zero with maybe six digits so we can make our own implementation here with any number of a digit so i'll say that is self dot score so the score image so score images will be an empty list here so let's create the label now so from here we'll say create label and let me say create label and just assign here as in self dot score images and just give her that is the value for this image let maybe it is six zeros and give the position here that is 75 and 55 we haven't implemented this create level method and we'll do it in a bit so before that we'll just want to implement another method so let's go here back back in this uh, overhead info and just call another function that would be create info level so create info level and just call it here let me again copy this name and go back down here where we have to create this function and just define it with the same name and with a self so this create info label basically creates the label that defines or describe each info that means we have a info for the mario level world level time level and stage so we'll define for each of these level in this create info level so basically let's create the empty that is the list for each of these level so let me say first will be mario level it should be empty and second would be let me say world level and it should be also empty and third will be time level and it should be empty and the last will be stage level so as to give the stages so this is stage and we have level and this stage level should be empty again so first thing we want to just add in this that is from this create label method so we'll just call this create label method again and we haven't implemented this create label so this create label basically will create the label for each of these info so what are you gonna pass first will be mario label and just give a here text as in mario which has to be rendered and next will be the position that is 75 and 30. so next will be we'll just create for this world level now so let me just copy all of these and just paste it out here and instead of mario level we have to deal with now world level and just give the name here as a world that is basically our text and just give a position here so position would be somewhere let me say 450 would be x position and 30 is obviously our y position so after this level we want to create for time level and go here and just call this time level and in this mario we have to set time again and just give the x position and this x position would be 625 that is more displacement in x from this world level and no displacement in y so we'll just assign another that is level for the last level that is stage level so in this stage level i'll say that is one and one stage so let's render it in the position that would be for 75 and 55 so as to make alignment to the text so what are you going to do next is we'll just create a list where we'll just add this bunch of a label so let's create that so first will be label list so just create this list as 
the collection of all these items that is our first is self dot mario so first will be mario label and second will be our world level and third will be our time level and fourth will be our stage level so we have completed our info level that is create info level function and it basically creates this level that describe the each info that is mario world time and the stages so next function would be just creating this level function that is create level function so let me just copy it from here and go deep down again here and just define it as in create level and create level will take a bunch of things that is when you just call this function we have something that is here that was label basically first and second will be the string and x and y position this string is basically referring to the name and x and y so i'll just go here and just call with first that is label list and next will be the string that is basically this name and next will be x and the last will be y so what you're gonna do here is it basically creates a label that is mario world and time so let me comment it out here so label would be something like here first would be world and next will be time and third will be mario so this will be our label so what are you gonna do here so firstly we'll just make that is loop so for later in a string so i'll say in a string that we just pass here so that can be world or time or mario so let's loop in that so that means we have now yum at each of these strings so when you first call with this great label mario so this letter will be yum at a first iteration a and second and so on so what are you going to do here so we want to just create another list uh, that is our we have already this level list here so in this level list we're gonna append these characters so i'll just call this character class that we created here at the beginning and we'll just use that character class in order to just get the image dictionary of this letter so i'll just call this image dict again and just pass the letter here that is this letter so we have created this level list out of this character function or character class and just pass this as image dict and later so what are you going to do next is we'll just go up and see what we have to implement now so get back to here and just create some other functions like maybe we have to implement that is load screen level so i'll say create me a load screen level load screen level so levels and just put a parenthesis here and let's call that let me just copy that the name so it could be easy while defining so let's go here down here and just define with this name and just keep a current object so in this create load level function it creates the level for the center info of the load screen so this is a really important load screen level function and it basically creates the level for the center info so let's implement that so first will be world level and this world level should be empty here and create the another that is list for the number so number level so now it's time to create the level out of this create level function so make use of this create level function to get this basically center label so in order to get that center label what you're going to do first is use this create level function and just pass here the list that is level list as a world level and the next would be her world that is the text and just give the x and y 280 and 200 so we have now this create level world level so we have to create same that is the level for this normal level so let's define by 
creating the label and just pass the label list as normal label and give a text here that can be one and dash and one and just give the position that would be 430 and 200 so we have now this level and that is world level and normal level so let's make that center level and just use this world level and normal level as an element of that list so let's create that so first we want this center level and just create the name as center level here labels and just create this list and inside this list we want this world level and normal level so first world level and just pass a normal level so we have now this create load screen level and the next thing what you can do is go back in here again and let's implement another function and let's say that would be create countdown clock so this is for the countdown clock so let me say this create countdown clock so let's define it as in countdown clock let me just copy it as always and go deep down here and we have to define and just paste it down here so this create countdown clock basically is the function that creates the countdown clock for the level so let's begin with some of the images for the countdown clock and let's create that list to get that so we'll say countdown images images and that should be empty list and let's follow that is the create level function in order to get that images and that should be level list is here we have just created the countdown images so this should be passed as in here in this create level as in level list so next will be the string so what should be the string is just get that string that is self dot time here so just convert that into the string so time will be now in that column and that is basically from this string type casting so give the position that would be somewhere 645 and 55 so this is our create countdown clock function so next important function that we want to implement here will be just calling this create coin counter and it is a really important function so create coin counter and as the name suggests it will just create us a counter and that will basically count the coin so let's go here again and define with this same name and this coin counter create coin counter creates the info that tracks the number of a coin that the mario collects so this is very important it is basically an info that tracks the number of a coin that we have just mario or mario has collected so let's do that and in order to do that we'll just use these coin count images it should be coin count images and just make it as empty list and after that we want to just call this create label again and in this create label we want to pass that is a label list which is this coin count images so this should be our list and give the text here maybe we'll start with o and o that is zero zero coin and give the position x is 300 y is 55 just visualize where you want to add that counter of the coin and just add the position the x and y here so after this we want the another method and another method should be added here first and that another method will be create flashing coin should be create flashing coin and this we have to just create the same method down here so that should be create flashing should be flashing and coin just make sure we have a same name here so if you go here yes we have the same name and in this create flashing coin 
this function basically creates the flashing coin next to this coin total so we have this coin counter and next to that we'll just have this flashing coin so let's make this flashing coin and it will only be one statement that is flashing coin and that should be curled from this flashing coin function that is we have now this flashing coin so another important function we have that is create mario image so this is a really important function and this should be image here and just call it and just copy this name and go down here after this coin counter we have to define this function create mario image so this is really important method and it's basically get the mario image from this function so let me just define here that is a lifetime images so let me say lifetime images so this variable that is lifetime images is basically the image that we get from this get image function so let's call this get image function to get this image and just give the position here that should be 75 to 47 and 6 and 6 so height and width is 6 and 6 x and y position that they get image should be curled or basically the extraction of image should be initialized from this position that is 75 at x to 47 at y so next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just uh, create this uh, rect out of this self lifetimes image so to do that we'll say that is this lifetime and i'll say this should be rect define as rect and this should be made as from this uh, basically our time life that is lifetime image and now we have something that is get rect function so in this get rect function give the center so center should be somewhere maybe three seven eight and two nine five so this basically center is center of the sprite sheet so make sure you just visualize this sprite and just to get the image out of that rect and next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just uh, let me say we'll just create this life total level and just create this life total label as in here maybe empty list and now what you're gonna do is we'll just call this again this create label function so in order to do that we'll just call from this current object and it should be create label and first will be the label list so label list we have already here a label list that is life total label so let's call that now it should be here life total level and the next thing is our string so the string will be here self dot total lives so total lives is basically our integer so that should be typecasted to string by this str function so next thing is x and another will be y so x here would be let me say for 50 and y would be somewhere to 85 and we have now create the label out of this label list so next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just create this sprite sheet for the mario and this sprite sheet should be loaded from this setup dot gfx and the spas here key is mario bros because we have this mario in this mario bros spreadsheet and this get image that is mario image here so let's make the another that is variable of the mario image and get that image so that image should be get from the get image and just give the position here so x position or where the extraction should begin should be at x and y position give the width and height so we have now mario image so let's create the rect out of this mario image and you know how to create that so let me just make a variable to store that it would be mario rect and in this mario rect we have to just get this image first that is mario level 
and we have the very very muchly used function that is get wrecked and this center here center would be 320 and comma 290 this will be our center so now we have created this great mario image so this will be the wrap for this video in the next lecture we'll handle some of the more events and that would be the basically updating and handling the level state and drawing according to the events so see you in the next